I'm here with Sherry Southgate from Cambridge, Ontario, and she is an honorable mention in our movable machine category uh, for wall quilts. Congratulate, hello, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. So her piece here, uh, Blessed Baltimore, uh, is is the honorable mention. Uh, in this category. Sherry, tell us a little bit about your quilt and how the creative process got started. I saw the book that this was uh, from. Okay. It's called entitled Faux Baltimore by Helen Stubbings in uh, Australia, I believe. Oh, okay. And it was originally meant to be painted. Mm. And I loved the pattern. I loved the mm -hmm. colors mm -hmm. that she had chosen and I wanted to duplicate it in applique if I was able to. Yes. However, some of the pieces were quite intricate mm -hmm. and I thought it was going to be a challenge to get the sharp points mm -hmm. by doing it by hand. Did you use a special tool to help get those points? Nope. No. I used no special tool, just my, just my fingers. Very good, very good. So you're a snowbird here. I am a snowbird, yes. Wonderful. And so you came to Florida and and did you have the fabrics with you or No, I had that? I came with no fabrics because I had nothing in mind. I wasn't working on a project and I didn't know if I was going to be. I had mm -hmm. come out of a little bit of a dry spell as we you know, we as have all period. People yes. Do. yes. And uh, when I saw this book I I thought I love that. Yes. So I didn't want to buy a lot of fabrics mm -hmm. to make it because mm -hmm. I have a stash at home. As we all do. So I think I ordered only five batik fabrics okay. for this entire quilt, uh, plus the background. Okay. And then tell me what these little dot. What are these little? Oh, dots? these little uh -huh. berries are all ultra suede light. Ultra suede light. Okay. Okay. And they, with ultra suede light, you don't have a turn under. You just sew it on top with okay. a fine thread, and um, then they're the size you cut out. You, you know, they're just so handy for a little mm -hmm. feature like like these berries. Right. So really, um, we have hand quilting with all your applique. Yes, hand applique. Hand, hand applique. Yes. And then the quilting was done on the movable machine. So tell Correct. me about that. My friend Deb Levy, who now lives in New Orleans, quilted it okay. Okay. for me. Deb and I were members of the same guild. In Ontario? No, or, okay. in uh, Punta Gorda, Florida. Oh, okay. Peace River Quilters. Can okay. I get a plug-in for you Peace sure River can. Quilters? Peace River, sure. And um, Deb beat me out one year for best in show, and I think she felt so guilty that she continues to do my quilting for me, even though she's moved away, and I, as long as I can get her to do yes. that I will definitely well she's done a fabulous job so I know I asked you earlier it feels like you she's done trapunto on here but she hasn't tell me about she has this. I believe she has two layers of batting though okay. and I can't tell you what they are but I think there's two layers I know okay. one is wool for sure okay she gets the effect of trapunto mm -hmm. just by the dense quilting around the element the element and then it just pushes yep, it, the air it okay. does or because mm -hmm. there has no is no quilting in mm -hmm. that little particular space mm -hmm. um, it just brings it forward and and gives you the effect Beautiful. of trapunto now did you give her any creative ideas on her quilting absolutely or none. none I just oh. say here you go Deb go to it well I love how she has mirrored what you have done in the hand applique it's, it's just beautiful and very reminiscent of a Baltimore sampler that we would see. Yes, so, thank you. Yes, it's, it's absolutely a beautiful piece. And one more question. Now, you did tell me you've entered one other AQS contest. Yes, I had a quilt juried into the Paducah show in, I think, 2012. Wonderful. Congratulations. And thank you. And this is your second quilt with yes. us? Yes. Wow. Well, How we are am I going to top this? Right? How are you going to top this? Well, we'll wait for that inspiration to come. Who knows where <laughs> to it'll be? To be continued. That's right. That's right. Well, it was so nice to meet you. Thank, and thank you. Thank you so much uh, for entering. And we look forward to seeing your wonderful inspirations uh, at the next Quilt Week. Thank you very much, Tamara. Thank you.